What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back to my Unitro V series for Fire Emblem Heroes. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Fallen Takumi and in this series, I review a unit and tell you guys how good that unit is and what are some of his best inheritance options. I also go over the counters that you should be watching out for and some teammates that you should be running with that unit and at the end, I will also tell you guys if it's worth upgrading him to 5 star rarity or not in my opinion. So Fallen Takumi is a free to play unit and his Grand Hero Battle is considered to be the toughest this one so far by a lot of people. So let's take a look at his 5 star stats. His HP is average for an archer and a lot of archers have got the same amount of HP as him and his base attack is 31 which is not very high in this current metagame and there are many offensive archers who can completely outclass him when it comes to raw power. His base speed is 34 which is great and with his weapon Scotty he can reach 37 speed which is amazing and very fast and this is one of his biggest strengths. His defense is 25 which is average and same goes for his resistance and his bulk is overall pretty mediocre but he's not someone who will go down in one hit especially if you run his default skill Fury because as it is it will be hard to double him and Fury helps him with his bulk. Because his bulk is not lopsided he will be taking pretty much the same amount of damage from the refined dragon breaths because he is a range unit and his weapon is Scotty Bow, the legendary bow he had in Conquest and this bow grants him plus 3 speed and it has got a humongous range for its area and effect. So basically on the third turn of every map, Takumi will do 10 damage to 3 columns where he's centered on and its range is huge. While doing 10 damage, he will also turn all of the buffs of foes into debuffs and basically works like a panic ploy. This also stacks up with multiple Takumis, so if you've got all 3 Takumis at 5 star rarity, then at turn 3, you will be doing 30 damage to your enemies, which is quite a lot. This is a very unique effect and makes Takumi stand out compared to other archers and gives him a pretty cool niche. This effect of his bow is a reference to the energy wave attacks he did in Conquest and it dealt 25 damage to enemies that were not hiding behind an object and he did this attack every 3 turns on the normal and the hard difficulty mode. But in Heroes, it only works on the 3rd turn and it does 10 damage instead of 25. His default slot is skill is Fury which is a good skill for him and it bumps his speed to 40 which is quite incredible. His slotsy skill is Sweet Smoke which previously only Seagird had so he has got a coveted skill that can be used for fodder and it's best to use him as a fodder for Speed Smoke rather than Fury and here are some of the builds that can utilize this skill. The best part about this is that we have got Attack Smoke Sacred Seal and with Speed Smoke on Slotsy you can debuff 2 stats of enemies by 7 which is quite a lot and this skill is pretty great on dagger units like Felicia who already debuff enemies for minus 7 defense and res with her dagger and with smoke combo she can act as an amazing debuffer and also debuff all stats of enemies. Rogue dagger is also pretty great with this because it debuffs defense and res and you can use it pretty well with the smoke combo and debuff all stats of enemies. It is used great by speedy enemy phase units who appreciate the speed debuff so that they can double. Fire sweep weapon users can easily poke the enemy units and debuff the other enemies and get out of there without taking any kind of damage. It also works great with wind sweep and a dual phase skill set which Joshua has. We do get 3 Takumi so you could definitely fodder one of them off for speed smoke. His special is Vengeance which is not only very fitting for him but it also has good synergy with Fury as he will constantly lose HP but his HP is not very high so in the best case scenario when he's at 1 HP he will be able to get 18 points of additional damage whenever he triggers this special. This is a good budget option but it can be replaced with something like Luna and his BST is 151 which is same as New Year's Corrin but he will score much better than Corrin in Arena because of a legendary weapon. His stat spread is same as Clarice, another Grand Hero battle unit but Takumi has got 4 more resistance and a legendary weapon which bumps the speed to 37. So Takumi completely outclasses Clarice in every single way. He can even mimic her Clarice's bow effect by running speed smoke and attack smoke so it's pretty bad for Clarice. Compared to his normal self, in terms of offense he loses out on 1 attack point but gains 1 point in speed and Scotty bumps that to 37 and in terms of bulk he's got the same defense as uh, normal Takumi but Fallen Takumi has got much better resistance. Fallen Takumi has got higher BST, a superior legendary weapon and Fujin Yumi has got a really underwhelming refine which doesn't really help Takumi in any kind of combat so it's easy to say that Fallen Takumi is the superior version and the only thing normal Takumi has is the fact that he can be merged more as he can be summoned which Fallen Takumi cannot be. Overall looking at his base stats they don't really look very much impressive however with Scotty he can be very fast 
and have an offensive spread of 31 and 37, which is really good. Scotty has a very unique effect, but in Arena it can invite some trouble. Its 10 damage can help the enemy fall into the range of their skills like Brazen Skills, Wings of Mercy, Vantage or Desperation, and can be troublesome. It's not a damage you can control, so it will just happen on the third turn, and because of that you can have some trouble. But I don't think it's fair to judge him solely based on the arena usage, when it's fantastic in other game modes like Ranger Battles, Boundary Battles, Tempest Trials, and Chain Challenges. In many maps, the enemy does not move until you make a move and bait them out or attack first. In those kinds of maps, you can stall out until the third turn and get 10 damage on the enemy and the Panic Ploy status for free, and it doesn't trigger the AI movement, so it's fantastic for things like that and I cannot wait to use him in my future videos for this. In most like Tempest Trials and Chain Challenges where you have got multiple maps, it can also be very useful. Takumi does get outclassed by other top tier archers like Brave Lynn, Bright Cardelia and Innes, but he does have his own niche and it makes him stand out and makes him a really good unit to use for in-game modes. Now let's take a look at his best Kinertans options. Takumi's base kit is already very synergetic so it's easy to build him up and Desperation has got good synergy with his default skill Fury, and Speed Plus 3 is good with Speed Smoke, and in general for doubling units. But Attack Smoke Secret Seal can also be run. Also keep in mind that Dual Smoke will stack up with his Panic status, so if a foe has got a Home Cavalry buff for example, and you Dual Smoke them, and also get the Panic status on the third turn, then that foe will have minus 13 to that stat. If you want to invest into him more, then Vengeance can be replaced with Luna as a special, because Takumi does not have a very high base attack, and against high defense units he can struggle, so Luna definitely helps. His slot can be changed to a more premium option like Swiss Pyro or Life and Death, but the latter will make him quite frail and he might get prone to getting one shot by a strong attack which he previously could survive with Swiss Pyro or Fury, so definitely keep that in mind. If you want to capitalize on his passive damage from Scotty Bow, then you can even run a dual Savage Blow set like the 4th set, and with all of the passive damage you're gonna be doing, he will not have much trouble finishing off the range units when he's in the Vantage range. There is a more expensive variant of this set with Close Counter which works similarly to the 4th set, but he will also be able to finish off melee range units because of Close Counter. The 5th set uses Arian Effect Special Growing Wind to do passive damage to enemies nearby and Growing Wind is the best AoE special because of the area it covers and Quicken Pulse can be used to make it a 3 turn cooldown special. But if you're using him with an Infantry Pulse user like Marissa, then you can even run Savage Bull Sacred Seal instead and it would be even better. You can even run a standard Brave Bow build or a Fire Sweep Bow build on him, but other archers do outclass him in that regard because Takumi cannot even have IVs which they can't have. So it's better to use his niche, but if you want, you can always go with these standard sets if you're not really a big fan of Scotty. But removing Scotty also means that you will lose out on the plus 3 speed bonus which he has got, so he will go back to 34 base speed. Wind Sweep for Slot B is also another option that can be run on Takumi if you face too many distant counter armor units. So those were his builds, now let's take a look at his counters. Takumi's attack is not very high and high defense armor units will stop him in his tracks and dragons are also very common units who boast high defense and are able to one round KO him. Raven Tome Mages, although they are not very common, can also destroy him and during water seasons, you'll be seeing Fee Arms in Arena who also crush Takumi with Ice Mirror. And like I said, because Takumi's attack is not very high, attack boosting units like Fee Arm with Drive Attack, Siegbert with Attack Tactic or Ephraim can be good partners for him. The arm in particular is a pretty good partner for him because not only she can provide him with the drive attack support, but with the passive damage Takumi is going to be dealing with Scotty, it makes her job easier in the enemy phase in taking out the foes and Fearm also devours any sort of Raven Tome user who can trouble Takumi and not to mention, if you do give a water blessing to Takumi, then he will absolutely love the speed and the HP bonus if you're using him with a Fearm and you also need to run some armor sling units when using Takumi because high defense disencounter armor units will give him a lot of trouble and a dragon check like Alm or Julia is also nice. By nature, Takumi is an offensive unit so using Dancer with him is a pretty good idea, especially since he can inflict passive damage and then use that to get multiple KOs after getting danced. Takumi's Scotty damage can be utilized by pretty much all of the units, but Brave Weapon users and Fire Sweep Weapon users can use the chip damage to get easy one round KOs on high defense enemies without really taking any kind of damage back. And now we'll go over if it's worth upgrading him to 5 star rarity or not. 
So first of all, Takumi is a very easy and cheap unit to build because his base kit is already so good and so energetic that as a free to play player, you will not have to spend too many resources on him and as I've explained before, he's gonna be very useful in game modes like Grand Hero Battles and Chain Challenges, so that alone in my opinion is worth upgrading him and we also do not have any kind of playable character who has got same effect as a Scotty Bow, so that makes him pretty unique and not only that, he can also work fine as a unit for Arena Assault as he's a competent archer. Now there might be a few reasons why you don't want to upgrade him and one of them is that Scotty only works once a battle and you don't really find the passive damage much useful and Takumi is easily outclassed both offensively and defensively by other archers like Ines, Leon, Brave Lin and many others and we're gonna be getting Arvis and Zephyr's Grand Hero Battle very soon this month. So if you like them more then you can save feathers for them and uh, maybe another free to play unit you prioritize more like Xander. So that is gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If if you did then please be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already then please be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said I'll see you guys next time, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.